Will it be garbage or will it be gold? Let's see. I bought a bunch of stuff from Timo.com. So it came in a big package like this. Let's see what it births. I'm gonna cut this very carefully because I don't wanna cut anything in there. Just to get it started. Now I tried to order stuff that was cheap and unique. Really the most ununique thing in here are going to be these bottles because I've been seeing them everywhere. So we'll see how these bottles work. Now they threw in some other stuff in here because some things were out of stock. So there is something in here that I didn't order. Gosh, there's a lot. So these little guys here, I've been seeing these all over the place. These super, super soft brushes. And uh, they can be used for dressings like tire dressings. That actually seems pretty practical to me. Kind of like that, comes in a little holder. And also this little brush, again, comes in a little holder. Super, super soft, and it can be used for dressings. And I like that it has this shape here, kind of like a little mini iron. So you can just dust with it, or you can use it for dressings. For cleaners, mm, it's too soft. I think it would work well for dressings. I also just picked up some sunglasses because why not? I'm always using sunglasses and they're kind of expendable for me because they're going to get damaged. I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses even though I have a ton of them. I'm also losing them or breaking them all the time. That's why you see so many different sunglasses in different videos. It's because I just wear them, break them, throw them away, buy new ones. A couple of dollars, I don't really care. These are actually pretty nice. Here's one of the things that came in that's a replacement, and I think it's just something that attaches to a hose, but I don't have the end to this. I hope they have it in here somewhere. Once again, a ton of different brushes. So that's kind of cool. And these do come with a little angled piece. So these actually unscrew. You attach this one to it, and you have angled pieces. Now these are something that I hope will work because it's practical. Straws, not just any straws. Let me show you. Now I'm hoping these are the right size. If they're not, I may have to send them back or reorder them or tell them, hey, it needs to be a different size. But they're for foam cans. You see this one, the MJJC one? It comes with it already, but now you can buy replacements. This broke on me. The straw completely disintegrated. It's because I had a strong cleaner in here. Hmm, unfortunately, does not fit. I could probably get a little crimp or a tie to put it in here, but mm, sorry, that's a no-go. So unfortunately, these are not gonna work for me at all. They don't even work in the other foam cannons. I'll keep them around until I do have a foam cannon that needs them. I'm not gonna worry about sending them back because they were like $4. Here's another little brush, just a different color. Now here's a little light that I got. A lot smaller than I thought. However, got a lot of functions. Hmm. All right. Interesting. I'm not gonna use the yellow light. And it has a mix. Okay, so it has all sorts of different modes. And it tells you in the back the battery. And then you have brightness functions. Cool. It's really bright. And it's magnetic. Comes with a little charger. That so far is exceptionally good. And even though it was a little smaller than I thought, it's actually a really nice size. It'll be good for interiors. It also comes with a little hook and a little quarter inch adapter to put onto a tripod. So far, this little guy is pretty awesome. I like it. So I also got a foam cannon. The construction on this seems substantial. That's pretty nice. Now the little pack of straws, this fits this foam cannon. It's a bigger straw. Okay, that's cool. So at least that pack of straws served a purpose. I'm not gonna use the one that they provided with me with this. I want the one with the little ball at the end and the filter as well. It actually has a little filter here, as you can see. So I'll ditch this and opt for this. But check out the foam cannon itself with the little thing on the side to refill. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, it also comes with a little measuring cup. 5, 10, and 15 milliliters. Alexa, how many milliliters in an ounce? One fluid ounce is about 30 milliliters. 
Okay, so 30 millimeters is an ounce. So two capfuls of this to the 15 milliliter line is an ounce. Good to know. I'm actually excited to use this because it's pretty cool. Ah, uh, more brushes. I kind of went overboard with these little brushes because they're just so cheap, but more of these little super soft makeup brushes. Great for dusting on delicate surfaces. And these ones are the long handled type. All right, one more thing, microfibers. Do I trust these microfibers? Off the bat, they feel incredible. In fact, I just got one big one, a big drying towel. And I have to say, it feels incredible. It's not a twisted loop, but it's a super plush microfiber with nice piping on the end here. And it's a nice large size. All right, that's actually very, very good. Good quality on this. One last thing was what everything was standing on. And that's this right here. I like carts, but I wanted something a little smaller, something adjustable. And the wheels are like the wheels of an office chair. So this thing rolls around easily. In fact, I was using it today around the vehicle that we were detailing to put my vacuum tools, to put chemicals, to put my polisher when I was actually polishing the vehicle. This I love. Spray bottles like this can really be hit or miss. We're gonna see how they pump up. We're gonna see how they perform. And over time, you'll see them on the channel and you'll see if they die out over time or if they actually work. This one, I believe, has both a sprayer head and a foamer head. I'm gonna remove the sprayer tip and install the foaming tip. That actually adjusts very, very easily. Seems to be of good quality. The true test will just be over time. I won't be able to cover a true test all in just one video as far as durability. But these are two liters and extra gaskets and little foam filters here. I almost forgot I bought these. Do you know what these are? I'll show you. Now I'm gonna demonstrate on this foam cannon here because I don't wanna take apart the new one. So I have an older foam cannon and I basically took all the pieces apart. This goes here, I'll just show you really quickly how everything connects, and each foam can is gonna be slightly different. These little meshes might be somewhere else in your foam cannon. But I basically unscrewed the top knob. There's a little pin in here that you need to push out. So there's a pin here that holds this plastic housing in place, and I just use a little Allen key like this. Make sure to have tools like this. If you're gonna be a professional detailer, you're gonna need tools like this. So start building up your collection. You're gonna need multiple tools to remove these as well. So I push that pin out. Make sure not to damage any of the gaskets because we do have gaskets around here that seal things up and they do serve a purpose. I was able to break this apart here. You can usually tell where it's separated here where you can actually unscrew it like this. So of course I use tools to do this. I just didn't do it by hand because it's pretty tight. Take that apart and in here is where your mesh is. So you can very gently poke out the mesh like so. And this is in very good shape so I'm not going to replace this but I'm just doing this to show you. Here's where the little mesh comes out. So if I was going to replace it just take another mesh out, pop it in place, put everything back together, and you're good to go. But this one is still in good shape, so I'm gonna put it back. You can rinse them out if you want to, but not really needed to do that. Gently push it back into place. Don't poke at it too much, but gently push it back into place. Put everything back together, and you don't over-tighten any of these things because there's just no need to over-tighten them. Tightening them by hand, or just a little bit, with tools is fine. Just a little bit, that's it. Everything pops back into place super easy. That will stay in there, it's nice and tight, you don't have to worry about it. Easy peasy. So if your foam cannon is older and it's not performing like it used to, it could be that you need to replace the meshes inside. So let's begin on this Camaro that was ceramic coated with crystal serum light about six months ago. It is very clean, it's garage kept, and well-maintained. Now we will use these brushes, of course, for interior mostly, 
because I like to keep these brushes dedicated for interiors. They're nice and soft, and of course, I'm not going to use them on wheels and the nasty exterior of any types of vehicles. Of course, this is not a nasty interior. You get what I'm saying? I dedicate these brushes for interior. And these brushes, I've already used this one, I'm going to use for the tire dressing and any trim, even though the trim is also ceramic coated, so we won't need to use a dressing for the trim, but you'll definitely see this in action on the tires. And maybe this one and this one to either interiors or just one of them for exterior trim and one of them for interior dressings. We'll see which one. We also will use the big fluffy drying towel. And these two I have filled with Hyperfoam from Hybrid Solutions. And in this bottle, I used up the rest of the purest alkaline snow foam. So this is what I'll use as my pre-wash. Now I've already used these to test them out and I have to say they are, and I have the extra spray bottle over there that I don't have filled with anything yet, but it's exactly the same as this one. So we're gonna focus on these two today. But now this foam can is cool because it comes with the little filling cap here on this side and the little measuring cap. I don't need to measure, but if you wanted to, you could measure with this. Putting about two ounces in there. Now I'm going to use this foamer spray with the pre-wash to basically pre-wash the vehicle. I can foam it all down with the foam cannon with a dedicated snow foam like this stuff. But let's use this instead. This actually pumps up pretty easily. It's only about half full. And like most sprayers, You don't get a ton of usage here. You're gonna have to keep pumping it up. Not bad. So we let that dwell on here for about 30 seconds. And if any of you are wondering, this is Crystal Serum Light after six months, one layer, and we use the Dr. Beasley's NSP polishing primer system on this as well. Already you see a difference. The pre-wash works really well. This is going to be very easy to clean up. And again, the benefits of a ceramic coating. So this little foamer, it foams up really well. I just wish I can put a Schrader valve on it, but this type of plastic is too sensitive to do that. But overall, it works extremely well. Now, if you wanted, you could use these brushes. I'm not gonna do it now because I want these for interior, but you can use one or two of these brushes to go into all these cracks and crevices and clean them all out. Again, I'm not using it on the exterior because I'm dedicating these for interior only. But I do have this little brush here that I can use on all of these areas to get them nice and clean. And again, it's not really dirty. So do I need to do this? Not necessarily but sometimes it's just kind of fun to do it. And if I do see any grime in these areas, it gets it all out because the mitt doesn't quite fit in all of these tight areas.
So everything is washed, rinsed, and looking incredible. Oh, I love ceramic coated cars. Now we're going to use a refreshing item from Ethos called Ceramic Refresh. It's a ceramic infused spray sealant, but it can be used to top ceramic coatings like this. Now, do we need to use this? No, you don't really. I'm using it because I like to use products like this and I won't see this again for another three months, even though it is well-maintained and garaged. More protection is better. Don't worry about that. Ceramic coating companies actually make products like this to go on top of their coatings. You don't just let a coating go by itself. You can, but ceramic coating companies understand that maintenance is important. So I'm going to use this. I'm also going to use this nice fluffy towel that came in the package as well. And you also see this thing, this tray. I love it because it's small, it's light, and I can roll it around the vehicle. That way I'm not either putting things in my pocket or on the ground. And this thing does kind of fold down a little bit so you can put it in a mobile setup pretty easily. So what do I really think about these brushes? First of all, these guys right here are incredible. The super soft brush here, great for delicate surfaces. This brush here is kind of an all around brush. It is a natural bristle. With delicate surfaces, I would stick with this one here. This brush here is interesting. It's kind of in between. It's pretty soft but it's aggressive enough to get into those cracks and crevices and clean them out really well. As far as the angled part of this, 
I think that's awesome. I love it. You don't have to use this little elbow if you don't want to. You can just take it off. It does come in handy. Now, what about these little things? This is for super, super delicate dusting. So these are the type of brushes that you can actually just keep in your vehicle, stash them in your side pockets or in the center console and use them just for light dusting. Once again, this phone cannon was awesome. Very, very impressed with it. I love the side filling cap and the foam on it is great. That's really gonna depend on the product that you use in it, of course, but so far, I think this is also a great buy. Now, as far as spray bottles like this, are they cheaper on Timu? Not necessarily. They're around the same price that you can get on eBay or Amazon, in fact, but they are still great options. So if you do want to buy on Timu, I'll have all the links down below and possibly a discount code. So go and check down there and make sure and it'll probably be for a limited time. So if you want to jump on some of these tools, then go check out those links. Now it's time for this little brush. Super, super soft bristles. They're excellent for getting into these little tight lines on some of these tires. Now, is a little brush like this practical? Only with certain tires. Thin wall tires like this, low profile ones, excellent. Huge truck tires? No, probably not. It's gonna take you forever. But for low profile tires like this that aren't too knobby, yeah, this actually works really, really well. You can also use these on your plastic trim. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how this little brush can work really well for trim. This is already coated. It's perfect looking. But just to show you how you can apply it, I'm gonna use a trim protectant here, spray it onto the brush itself, just very gently. Like that. So you could also use it in these panels here. I'm not gonna do that because I just used it on the plastic trim. I'm gonna dedicate this little brush for exterior trim and get another one because they come in different colors and dedicate each color for a specific thing. So this can get into these areas really nicely. So yeah, these little brushes are pretty cool. Overall, I'm very happy with these products. Brushes, foam cannon, and spray bottles are gonna be my top products that you can try from Timu. Once again, I'll have links down below. Go and check them out. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you wanna check out another video right here, this one actually shows the first maintenance wash on this Camaro. Go and check it out.